Hey, what's going on, everyone? This is Zen from Zen Multiverse, and I hope you're having a great day. And welcome back to another reaction hype review. So today we're doing it on Serial I, by Terry Moore. Now, uh, the cover just looked pretty interesting, so I got the book, and I'm all about just giving the love to the indie developers. And number one, this book is pretty amazing. It's uh, the atmosphere. Again, it's another atmospheric book, right, where there isn't that much dialogue, but just enough dialogue for you to immerse yourself into the story. So the, the book starts off with uh, pretty much uh, two characters that are on a cliff, and one is seemingly a, of a younger age and one is of a older age. And it's the gentleman who's like, oh, you know why you're here. And then he basically asks her, like, uh, how old are you? And she's like, I'm 16. Is it 16 or I'm, am I getting that that age wrong? Yep, 16. And then she's and then he's like, you know, I posted this. I posted the the job um, description. But, you know, I pick who I want by instinct. And she starts to get creeped out. So he starts to get a little bit closer to her. Um, because he's trying to make a move on her. But she's like, stop, right? She tells him stop a couple of times, but he doesn't stop. And uh, she gets to the point where um, he's like, come on, like, it's okay. You know, no one has to know, basically. And then she runs out the car. She runs out the car. He gets out the car. And then they start to have this dialogue. And then she's like, I'm going to tell my dad, right? And then he's like, oh, you don't have to tell your dad anything. Um, you know, it, I'll get in trouble or something like that. And she's like, yeah, the, she's you know, in our heads, right, we're like, yeah, that's the whole entire point, and he's like, don't tell anyone, please don't tell anyone, right, uh, basically leading to the authorities and things, and she's like, I'm underage, and, you know, prior to this, he was saying things like, oh, you're mature, and he was trying to, like, touch her, right, um, so it gets to the point where she kicks him really hard, right, and it seems as if she's trying to pr uh, protect herself at this point, because he grabs her hand, right, in order to tell her to stop, when she kicks him, he starts to stumble and he falls to the edge of the cliff, right? Where his body's dangling down and he's holding on. And he's basically saying to her, he's like, um, like, hold my hand and bring me up. And this is where her character shifts, right? She's standing over him and she's looking down on him, but her demeanor is so serious. So in my head, I'm thinking, okay, it makes sense, right? Because he tried to make a move on her um, in the aspect of trying to rape her or something like that. And she's looking at him like, like this is good for you. But come to find out, when he falls down, she starts to go into the woods, and then she uncovers this motorcycle or uh, some kind of transportation that she seems to be. And then she gets home, and then she starts to take off her um, her makeup and all kinds of things like that. She seems to be another person, right? And when she takes up off the makeup, you can see that uh, she has like a black a black eye, and she also has uh, other marks on her, right? Which then leads me to believe that she's done this before. She's actually on a mission to do a couple of things, right? Or to get people who are like this. And she goes to sleep. And when she goes to sleep, we get this inner uh, imagination, right? Her dream state where she's a little kid and she's going against a whole bunch of monsters. Anyone who knows about monsters, right? Things like clowns or just like any of the boogeyman and anything under the bed, she's like going against a whole bunch of them. And she's like, wailing on him wailing on them right um and it's pretty cool to see because it kind of gives you this insight that inside of her dream she's going against monsters outside she's going against monsters too right the, the true version of monsters right and um her friend wakes her up her friend wakes her up and she's like oh i was just having one of the best dreams it kind of gives you a little sense of her character right and her friend says, uh, did you know that so-and-so uh, died last night? Referring to the guy, right, who fell off the cliff. And then she's like, uh, are they saying what happened? Um, are they saying it's an accident? And then she's like, I don't know, but they're asking me a lot of questions about what happened. And I don't know. I'm trying to tell them to leave, but they, they won't leave the house. And then her friend, which is the main character that we're talking about right here at the front of the book, says, like, I'll be right there. And then the book comes to a close. And that's the whole story right there, right? Uh, it's I'm, I'm intrigued to see how it develops. Uh, this is um, Serial by Terry Moore. If I was to rate this book, I would definitely uh, rate it a go read it. And <laughs> and that's about it. I, I, I completely enjoyed this book, right, as an indie, uh, indie book. And just getting into this kind of like horror and like, uh, you know, she's, I don't, I guess it's, she's a serial killer, right? But it seems to be that she's a killer who does, who takes out bad people who do really bad things. So with that being said, this is Zen from Zen Multiverse saying peace, love, and prosperity. If you enjoyed my content, drop me a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And if you want to sh see more reaction hype reviews, drop it in the comment section below. I'm out of here, everyone.